going on everybody all right this video is not going to be sports related this video is going to be about uh, just a real quick thing about survival i know some of you may have cars you know your your heat goes out in it and it's winter time and you want to find a way to keep some heat in it and for all the drivers that follow me on these videos um, I'm going to do a quick review. I've never really done one of these, but on this thing, see this? And it's got a fairly long cord. It's about six foot long. So plug straight into your AC ports or uh, cigar lighter. You know, that's what we always called it. But anyhow, um, my bunk heat went out last night. I've got a 2017 Freightliner Cascadia that I've drive for his company and it's got it's equipped with that opti idle and they have the ac thermometer that uh tells you you know or it it reads the temperature and you know inside the cab and then it's also got a separate bunk heater that runs without having to power the truck on now it quit last night and this little window, I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I'm talking about because I want y'all to see this. So let me turn this, uh, turn these lights on real quick. Right here. First off, I wanna tell you, it got down to in the single digits last night. See if you can see this. 77 degrees right now. This is my bunk heater. This little thing right here. And uh, let's see if I can get it light up. It will not come on. It keeps saying it, it'll try to start and then it, it just won't start because it says that the flame is not lit. I don't know really what to do for it because I've never, it's my first experience with them bunk heaters. But I know it got cold and it was getting real cold. And uh, I went and bought that Road Pro inside the Loves. I'm parked at the Loves and I'm in, uh, over here. In, uh, I don't even know where I'm at in Colorado right now, but <laughs> I went and got that. And it and I've had it unplugged for probably, let me see what time it is. Oh, about an hour now. And Anyway, I plugged it in. I didn't think it was going to do. I thought maybe it'll just keep the temperature up enough to where it don't get cold in here. And I can actually rest just a little bit because, I mean, it was getting cold. It woke me up. And then I tried to get it to light and it wouldn't light. I tried for a couple hours trying to figure out any way to get this truck to idle. And it won't do it. Um, even releasing the uh, park brake and setting the trailer brake and putting my boot on the gas pedal. It'll run it for a couple hours and that's it. Um, usually you got about 10 minutes, but it will go for a couple hours that way. But who in the hell wants to get up every two hours and restart the damn truck? I don't. Um, anyhow, I went and got that little bunk heater and I thought, well, maybe it'll just keep it the temperature. I'll get it up. And I got the temperature up to about 75 degrees that little heater ended up heating it up to well over 80 it was hot in here i was sweating uh, i just want to tell you guys that because you can get these for your car if your heat goes out in your car um no you know no sense i know quite a few people that'll ride around you know instead of having a heater core changed and uh just get one of these you can screw it right to your damn dash it's got a little mount kit show you right here it's already on it comes with the hardware inside of it these have little holes in it right here here and over here and you can unscrew it off the side here and the, or actually it just it, it unclips that's what it does but you can screw it on your dash and snap it back down and you've got heat and you can blow it at your windshield and let it defrost and whatever but and for all you drivers that follow me that watch these videos, guys, it works. It, it works too good. Uh, I had, you know, I was sweating. I woke up, I was sweating. So, yes, it does work. 
works very well. I set it right dead in the center of my, right well, right by my gear shift, pretty much, and let it blow back. It don't blow very hard. You don't think it's going to work, but it does. It works very well, and I recommend it, but I also recommend cracking a couple windows because some of a bitch got hot. And that's that's the only downside I see to it is you don't have a setting. You can't change it, you know, high, lower. It's just either on or it's off. So if y'all get into a bind and need it. Now, I showed you the temperature back there, 77 degrees, and it's been off for uh, uh, at least an hour or so. And it said it was nine degrees last night. It's just now warmed up to about 12, so guys, it works.